Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science. Alarmingly ignorant, fecklessly arrogant, ladies and gentlemen, let me present John, the Quantum Eraser. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. Here's Johnny. Baltard Bozo Bio Duel, 16 January 2021. Hold on, I think I think I see it now. So, okay. if are you saying that there is a big difference between 0.1 and 0 0.0000001 as far as um, pressure differential? <laughs> uh, I think we see it now, along with every fourth grade mathematics graduate that can fog a mirror. And yes, it's gonna be a colossal differential. You see, your point one is one over ten or one tenth, and your point zero 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 one is one over ten million. What do we need to find the difference between them? You guessed it, the least common denominator, ten million. So your point one or one over ten is converted to one million over ten million minus one over ten million, which gives us a whopping. 999,999 units of pressure differential. Hold on, clown show. Did you just try to define one ten millionth of a millimeter of mercury as a unit of pressure? Where did you study science? On the Carhartt Isle at Tractor Supply? Oh, son of a... That's gonna leave a mark. You and the other 58 baltard spinning space monkeys on the panel that didn't correct you immediately would fail fourth grade intro to fractions and decimal notation. You numpty dipshits. Here, you can take this with you. <laughs> you know, John, in the context BioDeal was talking about this, he was discussing the difference between a vacuum of 759.9 millimeters of mercury compared to a perfect vacuum of 760 millimeters of mercury. A very slight difference in pressure. Have a look at this little illustration. Sea level pressure is shown on the right side, 760 millimeters of mercury. We call that 760 tor. The top of Mount Everest is 253 millimeters of mercury. The pressure BioDuel was talking about would occur at about 210,000 feet altitude. You can't even see it on this scale. Let's blow it up a little bit. And when we do, zero is the thin line at the top. 0.1 tor is the thin line on the bottom. The pressure differential is that little red line you see right there. It's one seven thousand six hundredth of one atmosphere. That pressure difference is so slight I would not even be able to account for it when I'm setting the altimeter in an aircraft. So stop trying to mislead people with huge numbers like that, John. We're really talking about one-tenth of one millimeter of mercury. You know, maybe you ought to go back to school and learn this stuff. And while you're at it, take this with you. Yeah, how do you like me now, you clown? Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one.